In this episode, we'll take a look at the Elgato Wave MicArm LP. It is a microphone arm, low profile, for streaming and podcasting. Now, Elgato puts out two microphone arms. This is the low profile arm. What I really like about low profile microphone arms is that they sit closer to the desk and they don't dominate the frame with your microphone and the arm. In this case, for example, you can see you're basically just seeing the top part of the microphone. The arm is completely invisible. So if you have a setup where you can do something like this, where you can have an arm that sits fairly close and parallel to your desk, and then the upper arm can raise the microphone to you know a good height like this, it's a really, really good option. I'm not gonna run through all of the specs, but here they are if you wanna go ahead and pause and take a closer look. Let me just run through the pros and the cons, especially relative to more traditional arms that generally sit up much higher and hold the microphone up closer to you. This one actually can, can move the microphone right up to your mouth if you needed to do that. But the thing I like about it is that you can move the microphone back just a little bit. And so that when you're live streaming or doing a video podcast or whatever you're doing, you don't have to see a lot of it, just the top of the mic. First of all, this is priced at $99 US, which is an, if you, if you have looked at professional microphone arms, that's a very good price. If you have not looked at microphone, professional microphone arms and you're coming from the $35 offerings out there from lesser known brands, then you may think this is really expensive, but I think it's very much worth the money. The build is incredibly sturdy. It is almost entirely made out of metal. The clamp that clamps to your desk is all metal. The arms themselves are 100% metal. Basically, the only thing that's not metal are the little plastic knobs that you use to tighten the ball head and to tighten the arm that can raise or lower, the upper arm as we call it. Conveniently, this mic arm also has magnetic metal covers for the cable channels. So you can hide the cable within the microphone arm. It does stick out, of course, at the end when you're connected to the microphone and also at the pivot joint between the upper and lower arms. But overall, this is a really nice system. It's super easy to set up and it stays in place with magnets. So really, really nicely done here. The desk clamp is padded so it won't mar your desk and it can open up to six centimeters. So this should be able to clamp onto pretty much any desk of any thickness. Now, the arm does come with an Allen wrench, and that Allen wrench allows you to adjust the tension for the horizontal joints. And so that just makes it so you can kind of dial in how much, how free you want these arms to be able to rotate. And uh, overall, that works nicely. Then you do have two plastic knobs. One is to control the rise of the upper arm. So you can essentially adjust the tension on that rise arm and lock it off. And then you also have another knob on the ball head for the part where you mount your microphone. And both of those work pretty well. I'll talk a little bit more about those in the cons section as well. One of the things that I did cover in my Rode PSA One Plus review was that the Rode branding was really, really prominent on that microphone arm. It's a great arm, but it was super prominent. In this case, the branding is super subtle, which I very much appreciate. You don't want to have, if you are going to have this in the shot somehow, um, it doesn't have any branding that shows, so that's really, really nice. So it won't detract from whatever it is you're trying to convey on your stream or podcast. And overall, the movement is relatively quiet. Let me give you some samples here. Now, whenever you move a microphone arm, you can transfer that vibration into the microphone and that ultimately gets picked up as sound, which you don't generally want. So let's move this around a little bit and see what we get. So first, I'll just move it off to the side here. Okay, now I'll turn it at its elbow here. Okay, now I'll move it uh, vertically. A little bit of creaking of the clamp against the desk edge there. Now, another thing that can happen is if you bump the arm itself, that can also transfer, again, as vibration up into the microphone, and then it'll be captured as sound. So let's tap on the arm a little bit down here at the bottom, and then on the upper part of the arm. Now, of course, if you have a shock mount for your microphone, that changes things entirely. This is just a microphone clip. 
So we're transferring basically everything, but just wanted to give you a sense for what that sounds like if you are going to use this kind of setup where you just have a microphone clip, no shock mount. No product is perfect, especially at this price point. Let me run through a couple of things that I think you just need to know if you are considering this microphone arm. Number one, the knobs are plastic. I think they're durable enough. They should hold up nicely, but what they're not great for is if you are going to be adjusting the height of the microphone or adjusting the angle of the microphone using the ball head while you're actually streaming or recording or whatever, they're not really great for that. You're going to pick up plenty of microphone noise and vibration noise and things like that. So they're not really well suited for that. But if you just get everything set up beforehand and the only thing you're going to do is maybe move the horizontal joints a little bit during your stream, then you shouldn't have any problems. And then finally, it's not really a con exactly unless you're looking for a microphone arm that specifically has a type of mount that goes into a drilled hole through your desk. This doesn't have that option, doesn't come with that type of mount, just so you're aware. What that means in practical terms is you're going to have to clamp to the side of your desk somewhere and uh, you know, preferably in a position that works well for your particular setup. Now, what about funky microphones like the Shure SM7B? And I only say funky from the standpoint that the XLR output is right next to the part that you attach to a microphone stand and that gets in the way. So there are a lot of different solutions. I didn't mention this directly in my previous review of the Rode PSA-1 and some people were like, why didn't you mention that? Well, okay, here's the deal. You just need an adapter of something like this. And this is basically just an extension. It's a 5 8 inch threaded uh, receiver on the bottom and 5 8 inch thread on the top. It basically just moves the microphone away from the little adjustment screws on the ball head. And so that allows you to attach microphones like the Shure SM7B. This one is the Shure A26X. I believe it was about $10 US. You can also get this from other manufacturers as well. Put a link down below. So my overall summary, this is a microphone arm that is an incredible value for the price if a low profile mic arm fits your setup. I really like this arm for its price because it's a bit more discreet than traditional arms. It's well built, it works well, it hides the cable, it moves nicely though you will have to set it ahead of time before you start streaming or recording in terms of its height or the microphone position. Otherwise, you'll just pick up a bunch of noise there. Just as long as you know that and that's okay for what you're doing, then this is a great, great option at a really reasonable price. Hope that was helpful for you. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave those down below. And if you've not already subscribed, make sure you do that. And we'll be sure to get you more great videos on how to improve your lighting and sound for video. Talk to you soon. Bye.